What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, Samsung's budget mid-range tablet. It was going to be called the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Lite. Doesn't look like it's going to be that at the end of the day. Get ready for this. Here is the name. This information is coming from Nils Arsmeyer, and he's saying to clear up the naming, they sent out Tab S7 Plus Lite to retailers, but at the last second, changed it to the Tab S7 FE 5G. So it's going to be called the Tab S7 Fan Edition. So if you're looking for it and you want it, when it does come out, look for that and you should see it. It should come out very, very soon. Uh, again, it's gonna be a big tablet, 12 inch tablet, but it's ultimately going to have, you know, kind of mid range specs. Next story of the day is about Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and flex mode. Flex mode, for instance, is like this. You open up the camera, you kind of bend it a little bit and you can do, you know, a couple things in there at once. It's that, check this out, this information's coming out from the Galox saying flex mode is getting a big update with the Z Fold 3. In addition, we will see an improved split screen and the new split UI that I mentioned yesterday, which adapts the apps to the bigger screens. So it's gonna help with apps that have issues that don't really go into tablet mode, maybe Instagram, apps like that so that'll be a good little little software fix to make things that aren't made for a tablet screen go be into a tablet screen so good news overall galaxy z fold 3 these little improvements like this are definitely a welcome bonus and the last story of the day as you can see from this tweet as well from anthony the galaxy and one ui 4 will bring a redesigned setting app which will be a lot cleaner and a lot simpler it also brings a new notification panel and uh, One UI 4 overall should be out sometime towards the end of this year but ultimately settings which I don't think is that bad I mean this is what it this is what it looks like now I, I don't I don't think that looks all that awful I like it better than Apple's settings app but I guess you could clean it up a little bit and then improved quick toggles again that's not a bad thing either if you can somehow make this better cleaner easier to look at obviously it'll probably take into effect some of the android 12 features and looks as well i can imagine so we'll wait and see but there you guys go that is your news for today thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one but before i do your question of the day what could they improve samsung them being with one ui4 which are, what kind of improvements would you really like to see overall let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you guys down the road peace